Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, how are you tonight, guys? Very good. That sounds great, Jaime. Good night, teacher, good night. Hello, Ivan, good evening. And Jonathan, good how evening. Are Maria Dolores, welcome to the class. Candida Beltran, good evening, welcome to the class. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you so much for your punctuality. Okay, so let's start with the night class. Welcome again to this English court. It's nice to see you tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to continue uh, studying the section number four. And tonight we are going to study the simple past tense. Pasado simple, right? And we are going to start with the regular verbs. There are two types of verbs in English and they are regular and irregular verbs. And we are going to start studying tonight the regular verbs. In English, tenemos dos tipos de verbos, ¿verdad? Verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estos dos tipos de verbos? Any idea? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? What is the difference between the regular and irregular verbs? And you say, no idea, teacher. Bueno, la diferencia está en la manera en que estos verbos eh, hacen o forman su pasado, ¿verdad? Los verbos regulares, eh, por lo general, solo tenemos que agregarle ed a estos verbos y ya está en pasado el verbo. En cambio, los verbos irregulares, cada verbo tiene su propia forma para formar el pasado. Esa es la diferencia. El día de hoy vamos a comenzar con los verbos regulares. So let's start with this topic. Uh, antes de comenzar, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Questions, problems, doubt, no. No question. Okay, that's great. Then let's go with tonight's topic. Okay, I am sharing with you the presentation. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Simple task with regular verbs. That is the topic for tonight. And this is the class number nine. Let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. That is the goal for tonight, guys. So let's start with this. We are going to start with this uh, conversation. So take a look at the conversation and let me know, please, if there is a new vocabulary there. Vocabulario nuevo. It says, hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all week. What is this conversation about? Esta conversación en qué tiempo está, presente, pasado o futuro? Past, future or present? En pasado. Ok, excelente. Thank you. It's in past. Pasado, yes. pasado. It is simple past. ¿Qué actividades realizó Jennifer el fin de semana pasado? ¿Qué actividades realizó? 
What did she do last clean, weekend? Clean and laundry and shopping. Okay, excellent. And so, visited her parents. And also she visited her parents. She exercised. She exercised on Saturday morning. She cleaned. She cleaned. She, cleaned. she did laundry. laundry. Shop. 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 Puede compras. And also, she visited her parents. ¿Qué otra actividad realizó Jennifer el fin de semana? She studied. She studied. Excellent. She studied. studied. She studied for studied. a test. Estudió para un examen. Hey, Michael, ¿qué hizo Michael? Watch TV all weekend. Okay, watch TV all weekend. He watched TV. Mm -hmm. Se vio toda la saga de Crepúsculo el fin de pasado. De, o de Harry Potter. So I just watched television all weekend. No se acordó que tenía examen. I say, I didn't study. Then... In this conversation, we can find some verbs, some regular verbs in simple past. Let's see, for example, exercise is one. That is an example. Then we have clean. It's another regular verb. Shop. Shop, too. And also? Visit. Visit. It. Thank you. Visit it and? Study. Study. All of them are examples of simple uh, past tense regular verbs. So let's watch it. Oh, thank you so much. Also watched is another one. So let's listen the conversation and pay special attention to the irregular, sorry, the regular verbs, simple past pronunciation. Pongamos atención en la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en esta conversación. Let's listen. Hi Jennifer. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired. ¿Pueden escuchar la conversación sin problemas? Yes. 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 Ah, okay, thank you. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, thank you. ¿Cómo suena Michael al final de la conversación? Algo afligido. Ah, okay. Todo preocupado. Todo preocupado. Todo preocupado, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo creen que le vayan al examen? Cero. Cero, no muy bien, ¿verdad? Seguro, cero. Ah, ok. Cero seguro. Ok. Eh, any new work in this small conversation? Any new vocabulary? No, ok. Look at exercise. Exercise. Uh, I have a question, it. teacher. Yes, what is your question? Then, Dean, ¿qué significa? Porque me voy a Dean, antes you have a, you have going to weekend, but going to hang on weekend. Oh, Dean. Dean is an auxiliary that we need to make sentences in simple past. Es un auxiliar que necesitamos para hacer oraciones en el pasado since. Uh, okay. so, en presente utilizamos do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Did es el pasado de do. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Then he said, did you have a good weekend? ¿Tuviste un buen fin de semana? Well, I have a busy weekend. ¿Tuve un fin de semana relajado o ocupado? Ok, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Ok, thank you. So, I had a busy weekend. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Para, para entender, este, ahí donde en la segunda intervención de Jennifer al final dice, eh, en intermedio de la oración dice, then my roommate, que no sé qué es eso, y cómo se pronuncia, rom, 
roommate. Roommate. Okay. Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning. Eh, ese ejercicio en la mañana. Then, después, my roommate and I clean. Then. Se pronuncia then. And my roommate. 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 Compañero de cuarto. Compañero de cuarto. Después mi compañero de cuarto y yo limpiamos. Roommate es compañero de cuarto. Ah, gracias. Ok, ¿alguna vez han tenido roommate? No. ¿Les tocó, no, ¿no les tocó compartir cuarto with your sister or with your brother? Brother, teacher. No. Ah, okay. Brother. Your brother was your roommate. Yes. Your, your sister was your roommate. Ok, y siempre se pelaban por la cama de arriba del camarote. Sí. <ríe> ok, nice. Eh, no, para, pues, para, para caerse no. de esa cama. Ah. Para caerse de la segunda planta. <ríe> y se orinaba el de arriba. Híjole. What a problem, what a problem. ¿Qué problema hay yo? No questions. Any other question there? Vocabulary. Uh, no? Question, teacher. Uh, well, is uh, como en futuro. No, well is an adverb here. Es un adverbio que significa bueno. Uh, really, why? Uh, real, de verdad. ¿Por qué? Uh, bueno, el sábado hice esto y esto y esto y el domingo es. Entonces sería como bueno. Well. Okay, thank well. you. Okay. Any other question? No more question in this part. No question. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice in this part? Two volunteers. Thank you so much, Maria Dolores and Hugo. Okay, Maria, you are Jennifer and Hugo, you are Michael. Can you please start practicing this conversation, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, the child, digo, nombre de ella o nombre de, de la Jennifer. Hey, it's up to you. Es su decisión. It's up to you. Okay. Hi Jennifer. Did you have gone to weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well. I, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean up, did laundry and shopper. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test whole day. Oh no, do you we do we have a test today? I did study just I watch television and or weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you, uh, Maria Dolores. Thank you so much, thank Hugo you. Giovanni. Uh, now tonight we are going to learn the pronunciation of these regular verbs. Porque en algunos cambia. Let's see, for example, cleaned, cleaned. Uh, we don't say clean it. We are going to use a sound, cleaned. Which sound did you listen at the end? Cleaned. ¿Qué sonido escuchan? Cleaned. ¿Es sonido de T mm. o de D al final de este verbo? Cleaned. La D al final. La D. La D al final. Pero se oyó como T al final. Okay. So, cleaned, cleaned. Clean. Y este otro, shopped, shopped. 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 ¿Qué sonido escuchan shopped. al final? Shopped. shopped. Una T, shopped. Son, sonido de T, ¿verdad? Entonces, shopped. algunos verbos terminan en sonido de D y otros, esa D la vamos a pronunciar como una T. T. Y... Escuchen este otro, visited o visited. Visit. Visit. Es el visit. sonido it al final, it. 
Eso lo vamos a aprender en esta clase. So don't worry about that. Vamos, vamos por pasos. Eh, en este vamos a ver algunos ejemplos en esta diapositiva. En this slide we're going to watch some examples. Look at this. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed at home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Estas son oraciones afirmativas en pasado simple. Solo necesitamos un sujeto, el verbo en pasado y un complemento. That is what we are going to need in this part. Subject, eh, verb in simple past tense, complement. I studied on Sunday. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esa oración? What is the subject in the first sentence? I. Uh, I is the subject. Thank you. The verb is studied and the complement on Sunday. Now, to my negative question, we are going to use didn't. Para hacer una oración negativa, vamos a utilizar did más not, que contractado se pronuncia didn't. I didn't study on Saturday. Como el pasado va en el auxiliar, entonces el verbo necesitamos escribirlo. En no su forma presente. base, ¿verdad? Sin conjugar, I didn't study on Saturday. They are looking at the following example. You didn't watch a movie. Tú no viste una película. You didn't watch a movie. El pasado va en el auxiliar, entonces el verbo necesitamos escribirlo sin conjugar, en su forma infinitiva. She didn't stay out. Ella no, no, no salió. Ella estuvo en casa. She didn't stay out. Didn't. Para hacer la negación y el pasado. Y el verbo sería stay. Sin conjugar. We didn't shop for clothes. No fuimos de compras. ¿verdad? O no compramos ropa. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Ellos no hicieron ejercicio el Día domingo. They did an exercise on Sunday. Now let's take a look at this verb. Watch. Watched. Study. Studied. Exercise. Exercise. Stay. Stayed. Shop. Shopped. Any question in this part? No question? No question. Okay. Let's see in the next. We are going to learn the rules. There are some rules, right? To add ed. Vamos a aprender las excepciones para agregarle ed a los verbos regulares. So, take a look at the rule number one. O la excepción número uno. Regular past simple tense. Regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. Vamos a agregarle al final del verbo ed a la mayoría de ellos. Example, laughed, washed, started, called, and listened. El verbo reír, el wash, what is the meaning of wash? Watch. Ok, washed, lavar, ¿verdad? Started, comenzar, called, llamar, llamar. listen. Escuchar. Atención. Escuchar. Atención. Escuchar. Now, let's see. Entonces, a la mayoría de verbos solo agregamos ed at the end of the verb. Let's see this. If the verb ends in ed. Entonces, uh -huh. Excuse me. Entonces, siempre a la pronunciación ed la vamos a, pro, la vamos a pronunciar como t. Existen tres sonidos para pronunciar el final de los verbos regulares en pasado. El primero es como de, d, d. El segundo es como te. Y el tercero es it, it. Después vamos a ver cómo vamos a distinguir cuándo vamos a pronunciar de, cuándo vamos a pronunciar te y cuándo vamos a pronunciar it. Just be a little bit patient. Ya vamos a aprender eso. Tonight we're going to study that. 
¿De acuerdo? Ya, ya casi llegamos okay. a eso. Ok, but very good question. Thank you. En la regla número dos o en la excepción número dos, if the verb end in E, you just add D. Si el verbo regular termina en la letra E, solo vamos a agregar la D. Let's see, for example, light. Light, agreed, bait, and escape. Solo agregamos la D, ¿verdad? Ya termina en E estos verbos. Let's see the third one. If a verse end in a consonant plus Y, you take off the Y and add I, E, D. Si el verbo termina en una letra consonante, todas aquellas que no son vocales, más Y, quitamos la Y, agregamos una I normal, y E, D, ¿verdad? I, E, D. Al final de esos verbos. Let's see, for example, carry, try, try, and cry. Carry termina en consonante Y. Quitamos esta Y, agregamos I normal y agregamos E, D. Try. Eliminamos Y, ponemos I normal y D. Try, the same. Take off the Y, add I plus ED. Fried. Fried is the same case. Recuerden, consonante más Y. Quitamos Y, agregamos I normal en IED. ED at the end. Question? Preguntas? Have a question. Tell me, Jonathan, what is your question? Este. Noté de que en la. En la carpeta anterior estaba la de shop y tenía uh -huh. agregada una tenía agregada una P más. Ah, ok, muy bien. Veamos las siguientes excepciones. Acá está. Esa aplica en la regla número 5. Si tenemos la combinación eh, consonante, vocal consonante, tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante antes de agregar ED. Por ejemplo, stop. Stop. Tenemos la consonante T, la vocal O y la consonante P. Tenemos esta combinación, entonces tenemos que duplicar la letra P. Ese es el caso de shop. Está... Y la pronunciación sería igual. Stop. Stop. Con... Yes, stop. Con una T. Con una T al final. Stop. Stop. Ok. Ok, excelente. Excelente question. Thank you. Entonces, vamos a la regla número cuatro. Si un verbo termina en una vocal más Y, solo vamos a agregar ED. Por ejemplo, play. Tenemos una vocal Y. Agregamos ED nada más. Play. Play. Enjoyed and delayed. Si antes de la Y está una vocal, entonces no necesitamos eliminarla, solo agregamos ED y listo. Ya tenemos el, la forma Ahí pesada sí. de ese verbo. ¿Yes? Sorry. Ahí sería play, eh, yo jugué. Uh -huh. Play, jugar, Ajá. play, jugué. Ajá. Prayed. Oh. Prayed. Oh, freight, yes. Sería freight. entonces, por eh, eh, ejemplo, sería entonces, I played the, I played the guitar. Oh, yes, eh, I no... played the guitar. Toqué Ajá, la sí. guitarra. I played the violin. Toqué el violín. I played soccer. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Y la última regla, la que ya le mencionaba Jonathan. La número 5, si un verbo termina en esta combinación, right? consonant, vowel, consonant, duplicamos la segunda consonante. Stop, plan, hop, and back. Any question in this part? Teacher. How do you say hop? Hop. Hop, sí. Thanks. 
o what in Spanish or in English? Hop. ¿Qué significa? Sí, oh, ¿Qué sal significa? Saltar. Ah, saltar. Y, y bueno, dice bake o bake o no sé. Bake es bake es eh, pedir rogar. That is bake. Ah, ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo diría I bet the water. Este bien sería así. Eh, um, no, not in this case, man. Right? Beg es más como pedir, mendigar, así como. I beg for oh. money on the subway. Oh, okay. Pedir <laughs> dinero en el subway. Oh, es, okay. Para pedir agua sería la expresión. I would like some water, please. Uh, okay. I would like some water, please. Es Ese es el yo, siempre el verbo de la Excuse me. Ese es el verbo también, ¿verdad? Yes, it's a verb. It's a verb. Okay. Any other question in this part? No question. Let's practice then. We a movie last night. Nosotros vimos una película anoche. ¿Cómo forma el pasado de ese verbo? Watch. 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 Ok, solo tengo que agregarle un... Una D. I, E, D. O, E, D. D. E, D. E, D. E, D, right. E, D. We have to add E, D to this verb. Watch. We watched a movie last night. The next one, Sam, the computer an hour ago. Use it. Use it. Use. Como este verbo termina en E, solo tengo que agregarle D. 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 Okay, I have to add D. Yesterday, mom, a K. Bike, con D. Okay. Bye. We need to add just the bait. Yes. Who chop the wood outside? The wood. The the. The e d. Chop. E e d. Chop. Chop. Okay. ¿Cómo sería ese verbo? Chop. P. E, D. Ah, ok, excelente. Tenemos la combinación eh, consonant, vowel, consonant. Then I need to double the P and add E, D. In this way, chopped. Cortar. ¿Quién cortó la madera afuera? Number five. Dan, dinner for us last week. The verb is cook. E, D. E, D, right. Thank you. Dan cooked dinner for us last week. En number six. Y normal. Eh, creo que es. Ok, excelente. We need to add I, E, D. We need to take off the Y and add I, E, D. Cried is the simple past tense of that verb. Kind of easy, right? Do you have any question? No question. No question. Okay, that's great. Very good. Hey, I need one volunteer. Can you please read sentence one, two, and three, please? Any volunteer to practice? I teach you. Okay, let, let's go. Do it, please. We watched a movie last night. Sam used the com computer and all. Uh, oh, yesterday month bake a cake. Excellent. Thank you so much. Bake, 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 bake. A cake. Bake. Okay, thank you. Uh, four, five, and six, Hugo, please. Okay. Shop the uh, what out to. Um, sorry, teacher, ¿cómo se dice eh, en la que me toca? O sea, eh, shop, pero lo demás eh, de, okay. de 
they who, were fuzzy. Who chopped the wood Chop. outside? The wood outside. Okay. Who chopped the wood outside? Who chopped the wood outside? Okay, excellent. Done Number. a good dinner for a use last week. And the last one? No. Uh, yes, please. Uh, it's great. It's great. The hood night. Okay. It cried the whole night. Uh, podríamos estar hablando de un gatito, ¿verdad? Que pasó toda la noche llorando. O a dog. O un perrito, ¿verdad? It cried the whole night. Lloró toda la noche, gritó toda la noche. Any question? Oh, the pronunciation of this word. Uh, let's see, how do you pronounce this? Cos, cos. Okay, Dan cooked dinner for us last week. For us last week. Okay. Thank you. Now let's listen the T, D, and E sound. Eh, lo que me preguntaba María Dolores hace unos minutos. Eh, the pronunciation of the simple past E, D, endings. La pronunciación. De la E de al final de los verbos regulares en pasado simple. Let's listen these examples. Here we go. Listen these examples. verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited, visited. Okay, let's listen again. Let's listen again. These verbs end in t. Worked, watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Can you pronounce the sound with me? ¿Cuál es el primer sonido? T. T. Como T. Es como una T, ¿verdad? It's like T. T. ¿Y el segundo sonido cómo es? Can you D y D. 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 Y el último sonido es id. It. It. So it worked, watched, cleaned, stayed, invited, visited. Al la última la escuché como R, teacher. Visited. Okay, that happened because in English, cuando la T está en medio de dos vocales, eh, se pronuncia como una R suave, like visited. Or you can say visited. You can use both okay. pronunciation. So who wants to try? Who wants to try reading this bird in simple past? Any volunteer to chair. try? Yes. Pero en qué momento sabremos a cuáles agregar las sílabas de pronunciarlos así? Ah, eso depende de la letra en que termine el verbo. De acuerdo. Después de esta práctica vamos a verlos detenidamente. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar t sound? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar t sound? ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar id sound? Ok, just okay. wait a minute. Uh, anyone want to try reading this bird? Teacher, yo solo una, una cuestión. En la mm -hmm. última, no sé, al menos en mi pantalla yo lo veo como td o es id. Es... El, el, el final. Es id, id. Id, ok. Así es, id, es el sonido id. Ok, let's go, let's... These verbs end in... Bye. Intentemos leer este párrafo pronunciando correctamente. 
Por ejemplo, last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a speech. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. En el primer verbo regular, walk. ¿Qué sonido escuchan al final? De. Walk. Walk. De. 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 Glanced. Sí. Sí. Glanced. Sí. 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 A ride. Sí. De. De. Sí. Ordered. Sí. Sí. Handed. And the hand it hand it me the bill. It 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 sound. Y la última tasty. It 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 even that so let's say a little this. Walked, glanced, arrived, ordered, hand it and tasty. And taste it. Ok, ese es el sonido correcto para esos verbos. Any volunteer who wants to try reading this paragraph? Oh, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this small paragraph? Palabras nuevas en este. No, teacher, tengo algunas palabras nuevas. Ok, tell me. The... What's the... The hat. Oh, which one? Last weekend. Uh, hunt. Hunt. Uh, which one? Hunt. 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 Me entregó, me dio el, la cuenta. Handed me the bill. Me dio la cuenta. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, vamos párrafo por párrafo. Last weekend I walked, I walked to my favorite restaurant. Eh, el fin de semana pasado caminé a mi restaurante favorito. favorito when I got there I glanced through the menu cuando llegué ahí le di un vistazo ¿verdad? le di un vistazo al Museo. No. al menú al menú, menú. The, sí, waiter, the waiter the waiter arrived and I ordered a stick el mesero llegó y yo ordené un, un, stick, un pedazo de carne. Muy bien, carne. excelente. Carne. Ok, stick, un bistec, un filete ¿verdad? de carne. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. Después de cenar, el mesero me entregó la, la cuenta. La, la cuenta. cuenta. I left happy, me fui feliz. Because my meal tasted great. Porque mi comida. Estuvo muy bien. Ok. Muy bien. Sabía Porque delicioso. Estaba delicioso. That is the meaning of this paragraph. Ok. Now, Julio, do you want to try reading the paragraph? Or do you have a question? No, I wanted to try. Ok. Do it. Last week I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I go there, I glam through the menu. The winter arrives and order a stay. After dinner, the winter handing me the beer. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Tasted great, excellent. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Ahora vamos a ver lo que preguntó Jonathan. Eh, ¿Cómo saber? How I am going to pronounce these sounds? ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar o cómo sé cuándo pronunciar el sonido de T, de D o I? Comencemos con el sonido it. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar it sound? If the verb in, in a T or D sound, use the it ending. Si el verbo termina en el sonido de estas dos letras, T o D, utilizamos it al final del verbo. 
For example, want. El verbo want, que significa querer, termina en sonido de T, ¿verdad? Want. Al hacer el pasado, al agregarle ED, lo vamos a pronunciar con el sonido IT. Wanted. Wanted. Let's see the next. Si el verbo termina en D, ¿verdad? En sonido D, como need. Need. Termina en sonido de D. Al hacer el pasado, need it. Need it. Vamos a pronunciar it, it sound. Preguntas en... ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar it? Cuando terminan en D o en T. Ok, thank you. Cuando los verbos terminen en T o D, al agregarles el ED del pasado simple, vamos a pronunciarlo con it sound. Veamos cuándo vamos a pronunciar t sound, el sonido de T. Cualquiera de los verbos que terminen en estos sonidos, uh, voiceless sound. Voiceless son aquellos sonidos que no, produ no le producen una vibración, ¿verdad? Cuando usted lo dice. Por ejemplo, estas letras. P, K, F, S, C, H, uh, S, H, C, H, o T, H. Si los verbos terminan en estas letras, al agregarle ED, vamos a pronunciar como T. Por ejemplo, help termina en sonido de P. Help. Al hacer el pasado, vamos a decir help. Help. Wash. El verbo wash termina en sonido es H. Wash. Wash. Después, entonces, watch, uh -huh. watch, watch. Watch. Al final, cuando watch. esté en pasado, vamos a decir watch. Entonces, al fin, los verbos que terminan en T, K, F, S, S, H, C, H, o T, H, pronunciamos sonido de T al final. ¿De acuerdo? Let's go with the next, or the last sound. D sound, el sonido de deber. Cualquiera de los verbos que terminen en, los siguiente, en las siguientes vocales o sonidos. L, M, N, J, R, G, B, and V, and W, and C. Cualquier verbo que termine en estas letras, vamos a pronunciarlo con Sound D. con D. Por ejemplo, call. Call. ¿En qué letra termina ese verbo? Call. Con D. Oh, perdón. Call. Con L. Con no, L, L, ¿verdad? No. Al hacer con el L. pasado, vamos a decir cold. 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 Play. Cold. Play. Play. Termina en un sonido vocal, ¿verdad? Que es guay. Play. Play. Entonces, play. played, played. Is it clear now? ¿Todavía tienen preguntas? No questions? No questions. Solo una ocasión. Eso lo voy a mandar al grupo, ¿verdad? Yes, I'm going to share the presentation with you on the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, do you want to try reading these sentences? You use the right pronunciation of the regular verb in simple past, please. Let's see number one. Who wants to try number one? Sentence number one. Who wants yeah, to I read it? Call the police. I oh. I called the police. Ok, ¿en qué sonido termina ese verbo? I called the police. De. De. The sound, de. I called the police. Número de. dos, any volunteer to read the second sentence, please. I need a sweater. Ok, I need let's... A sweater. Ok. Once again, Leslie, please. I need a sweater. 
Thank you so much. I needed a sweater. Thank you. Number three. He pushed the bottle. Okay, thank you. By pushed. Pushed. Este yeah. verbo termina en S8. ¿Cuál sería el sonido del ED? Pushed. Sería pushed. 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 He pushed the bottom. Thank you so much. And the last one. I study stu for the test. Es, uh, es. ¿Cuál es el sonido en ese verbo? Eh, de. I studied. I studied study. for the test. Thank you. Ok, de esta manera lo pronunciaríamos. I called the police. Eh, ¿Cuál dices? I, I needed, needed a sweater. A sweater. He pushed, pushed the button. I studied for the yes. test. Thank you. Very good job in this part. Ok, now. Ahora ya sabemos cómo hacer los verbos en pasado simple, los verbos regulares, agregándole de. A otros tenemos que agregarle solo la de. Y a otros tenemos que agregarle I, E, D. I, E, D. Y ya sabemos cómo pronunciarlos. Ahora veamos cómo hacer una oración. Ya habíamos visto anteriormente, pero acá está la estructura. We need to use the following structure to make sentences in simple past tense. We are going to need a subject, verb in the past tense, and complement. Tres cosas necesitamos para hacer una oración en pasado. Easy. Primero un sujeto, luego el verbo en pasado simple, y un complemento. That is what we need. And I have the example. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed at home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Let's see. Let's practice in this. Use the verse in the box to complete the following sentences. Vamos a utilizar los verbos que están acá arriba para completar las siguientes oraciones. ¿Cuál sería el verbo correcto en la número uno? They, the cruise. Stop. They stop the cruise. Stop. 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 Are you sure? Stop. Yes. What is cruise? Cruzar. No. No, no, really. Story. Okay, actually, the meaning of cruise is crucero. I don't know. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, Enjoy. excellent. Enjoy. ¿Qué tengo que agregarle a ese verbo o quitarle o ponerle para hacerlo en pasado sin Enjoy. 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 Se le quita la I con I latina. Okay. Solo queda como ED, solo ED porque lleva la vocal de la Y. Ok, excelente. La respuesta correcta es la de Jonathan. Como termina en vocal más Y, no necesitamos quitarla, solo agregamos ED. They enjoy the cruise. Ellos disfrutaron el crucero. Second one, the car of the light. Stop. Stop. Okay, stop. Yes, stop. The car is stop. stopped at the light. Stop. ¿Cómo hago ese verbo en pasado? Stop. In simple past. Stop. Double P and ED. Stopped at the light. Light eh, semáforos en español, right? Eh, number three, the frog very high. Jump. 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 
Make the name yeah. jumped. Okay, number four. Stay. 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 ¿Cómo hago ese verbo en pasado simple? Stay. Solo poner la D. ID. ID. Stay. ID. ID. Thank you. Rose, stay home alone. And the last one, number five. Live. 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 ¿Qué tengo que agregar a ese verbo? D. 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 Cuando el verbo termina en E, solo tengo que agregarle D. D. He lived in Rome long time ago. ago. Ok, do you have any question? No. No question? No question. Ok, ahora vamos a aprender a hacer oraciones negativas. We need to use the following structure to make negative sentences in simple past. Oraciones negativas, ¿verdad? Algo que no sucedió o algo que no hice en el pasado. We are going to need a subject, didn't, the verb in present plus complement. Vamos a necesitar un sujeto, el auxiliar did más not, que contractado se, con, se convierte en didn't, el verbo sin conjugar, más un complemento. ¿Por qué no conjugamos el verbo? Porque el auxiliar va ya conjugado en pasado. ¿no? Didn't. Let's take a look at the example. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries and they didn't exercise on Saturday. Do you have any question about this? No questions? Yes, teacher. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? When they say we didn't shop for grocery, uh, how uh, can you speak in Spanish? Oh, no compré comida. We didn't shop for groceries. Oh, sería, no fuimos de compras por comida. No compramos mm. comida. Thank you. Okay. Entonces, y tú dices, no es como, como algo así, como una comida rápida, como un snack, algo así. Es comida normal. Mm, groceries. No es una comida sí. rápida. Sí. Sí. Es como comestibles, ¿verdad? Comestibles. Sí. Como no, ir al supermercado. No es como comprar rice, beans comestibles. Las compras. Las compras, lo, lo, el mercado que le decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? That is grocery. Thank you. Eh, any other question? Ok, let's see. Si yo quiero decir yo no lave el carro, como digo esa oración. ¿Está correcta esa oración? No, wash. Wash, wash. Wash, wash. Ah, the car. Ya está. Ok. I didn't wash the car. Excellent. I didn't wash the car. Si yo quiero decir, yo no vi televisión. I didn't watch television. Watch. Watch television. Okay. I did no watch TV. Esta sería la forma no contractada. The did not. I did not watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Muy bien. Yo no limpié mi cuarto. I didn't clean my room. Ok, excelente. I, I didn't clean my room. I didn't clean my room. Very good. Thank you. Questions? No question in this part? No? 
Okay, so, nice. Can you help me please ordering this work to make a sentence in simple past? I did my... I, I didn't, didn't help, my help, sister. help my sister. Excellent, I, did I didn't help my sister. Help I didn't my... help my sister. Que mal hermano, no le ayude a mi hermana. I didn't help my sister. The T number two. I didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Wash the car. Wash. His car. He didn't wash his car. He didn't wash the car. Okay. Samuel. He didn't uh, wash his car. Thank you so much. He didn't wash his car. The next one. We didn't. Didn't play golf yesterday. Excellent. We didn't play golf yesterday. Oh, Let's see the next. Yeah. The boys planning, planning to take a trip to Mexico. Okay, excellent. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. The next. The dance. The dance. Peter, Peter, Peter and Susana, which, no. well, it's masking. Peter and with uh, Susana uh, dancing the wall. Peter and Susana dance the waltz. Yes, pero no utilizamos yeah. with. No. The dancer with Peter. Peter Vals with Peter. Or... Susan dance the waltz. With Peter. With Peter. With Peter. Yeah. Okay, excellent. You say Susan, with Susan dance the waltz with Peter. Susana bailó el vals con Pedro. That is the meaning. So I didn't help my sister. We didn't play golf yesterday. Peter danced the waltz with Susan. He didn't wash his cars and the boys planned a trip to Mexico. Do you have any question? No question. No question. Okay, cool. Okay, that's the class for tonight. Is it easy or difficult to use uh, regular verbs in simple past? It's easy. Difficult. Pero Easy. tenemos que aprender las reglas. Ah, okay. Correct. We need to study the rules, right? Yes. We need to study the rules. Any question? Do you have any question? No question, teacher. No hay preguntas. ¿Seguro? This is the mm. moment. Es eh, solo de la, de la tarea de la plataforma. Ah, eh, okay. Comenzamos... Yeah. Comenzamos ya la, 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 eh, la, la cuatro. Sí, bueno. Yes, of course. Ok, let's try in this exercise. This is the lesson number four. Oh, sorry, the section number four. And this is the first exercise. Let's try it. Change the verb in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to tie a period. It's already placed. What is the meaning of period? Meant. Y todos me escuchan correctamente? Yes. 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 Solo Damaris yes. como que está, que no escucha, Tiche. Que dice que no escucha. O oh, María Dolores dice que no escucha bien. Probablemente debe ser la conexión de internet. 
porque si los demás me escuchan sin ningún problema, it must be the internet connection. So now let's see. Vamos a cambiar los verbos. ¿Cuál sería? Wait. 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 Okay. Wait. ¿Qué necesitamos Ede al final. agregar? Ed al final, muy bien. Eh, wait. ¿Y cuál sería la pronunciación si este verbo termina en T? Wait. Wait. It. Wait. Wait it. O oh, wait it. Muy bien. But my girlfriend. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call. El viernes por la noche yo esperaba una llamada, o esperé por una llamada telefónica. Pero my girlfriend nunca llamó la hermana. Nunca llamó. Ah, la, la novia, la novia. La novia no llamó, but my girlfriend didn't. didn't Didn't call. Didn't call. Didn't call. I just stay home and watched TV. Watched. Watch TV. Watched TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Eh, ok, al final, ¿qué sonido tiene este verbo que termina en CH? En C. CH. T. T sound. Watched. On Watch Saturday. I visited. Okay, visited my friend Frank. We talk and and listen. Okay. Ed, muy bien. ¿Y qué pronunciación tiene este verbo al final? Listen. 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 Es una D al final. Listen. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked. Cooked. Okay. Cooked. Cook. Cook. Si este verbo termina en K sound. T. T sound. Cooked. Cooked. The next. Yo no trabajé I, muy duro el sábado. I didn't work. work. I didn't work. I didn't work. work. Yo no estudié para nada. I didn't study. I did. I didn't study. I didn't study. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Shop. Shop. Y me saco cuatro, no me dieron copy. Ah, ok, look at this. 34 point of 34 point. Excellent. And this is the exercise on the platform. Ok, you can start working on this and the following exercise too. El teacher, hola, la plana. Espérame. Ella dice, no estudié en la, en la última. ¿Cuál era? This one. And, uh, and I didn't study, study. I didn't study at all. I didn't study at all. At all. Eso significa en, uh, no último. estudié nada, para nada. Yeah. En la última. Uh, I just walked to the mall and shopped. Shop. Solo caminé al centro comercial y me fui de compras. That is the meaning. En la segunda me parece que está mal. Which one? No, no, ya estoy a la regla. Ah, ok. Ok. Question? Yes. No question. Ok, now uh, continue working on the section number four, please, of the platform. Uh, Don't forget that we have a WhatsApp group in case that you have a doubt, a question, or a comment. You can do it or you can write on the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. And okay. please keep working. Keep working on the platform. It's really important that you complete those exercises. 
Uh, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help during the class. Thank you for your participation and your attention. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.